hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is the next video in the best practices series with UiPath and this is the part 12 of the best practices and today I am going to talk about security compliance and the security patches whenever we talk about security I think it in three contexts the first one is encrypting the secure data Whenever we are writing automation, we always have something which is called a sensitive data such as the password information, such as any confidential information like your bank account details. Now, it is important for us to protect the crucial information and encrypt it. UiPath have activities where you can actually encrypt the sensitive data. When it comes to the password, it can be either stored in CyberArk or it can be stored in something which is called assets, credential assets in orchestrator. But the idea is whenever we are dealing with any sensitive information that has to be encrypted. The second thing is securing credential. Whenever we are writing any automation and let's say I have to log into an application and that requires a credential. So while doing the development, we usually hard code the value sometime to test the flow. But when we are doing it for a real world and a real time client project, we are never going to hard code anything, including the credentials in our automation. We then are going to use something which is called the credential manager, or we can use the windows credential. We can get it from the cyber arc, but the idea is simple. All your credentials should be secure. The third aspect of security is that limited access to automation assets. Since our assets are having all this information, we need to have appropriate control rights and permission that which user or which group of user have access to the asset, which group of users have access to the libraries who can do what, right? So we need to have the restrict or I would say the limited access of automation or the orchestrator assets right so these are the three things which you have to take care whenever you are writing any automation in point of security the next thing is the compliance now depending on the industry which you are automating for right let's say banking healthcare insurance there are always special regulations which govern the handling of the data and the automation process Whenever I am writing an automation, I have to make sure that my automation, my process is adhering to those rules and regulations. Some of the most common rules which you might have heard of GDPR, which is General Data Protection Regulation, HIPAA, that is Health Insurance, Portability and Accountability. This is for the people who are automating in the healthcare industry, right? Or anyone who has coming from the payments background, you would have heard of PCI DSS. So the idea is whenever we are writing any automation, we have to make sure that my automation is compliant to the industry. The next thing in the compliance is the personal identifiable information, which is also known as PII. If your automation deals with any of the personal information, we need to have precautions to take the sensitive information. This is same like the security, but idea here is that let's say I am creating a kind of a database where I'm intermittently storing some data, right? So it is my responsibility to encrypt or mask the data so that in case there is some unauthorized access, the personal data is not leaked out. So PII is also a form of compliance which you need to take care of. The last one is audit trails and logging. We have done a detailed video on logging that where we explain how do you create the logs, what are the importance, right? But the idea is whatever your automation is doing, you need to have a proper log of it. This helps in auditing, compliance verification and troubleshooting activities. So the idea is simple in order to make my automation compliant. I need to follow the regulatory compliance. The PII should be taken care of and we need to have complete audit trails and logging, which simply means that whatever your automation is doing, you should be aware of that and that information has to be logged, right? So that was about security and the compliance. The third thing which comes is called the security patches, right? Regularly, there are new threats which are coming to the market and regularly as the product which you are using is getting updated with the latest security measures. So 
what is the best practice regularly review update your security measures to stay up to the date with the evolving threats and compliance requirements additionally you should always collaborate with your organization security and the compliance team to make sure that your automation is properly following all the security and the compliance governance and the compliance which is provided by your organization these are the things we need to take care while writing an automation in terms of security governance and security patches so that is all for this best practice the complete playlist on all the best practice is available in the channel you would find the link either in the bio or in the description thank you for watching and happy automation mm -hmm.